Hi everyone, I hope you're all having an amazing day. If you're new here, Melanie and I do food hauls and a few other bits and pieces. I've done my weekly food haul and if you follow me you'll know that I've not managed to do part two for the last couple of weeks but part two's already filmed because it's the chilled slash frozen stuff which gets put in the fridge and freezer as soon as I get home and then I get changed to go for a dog walk. I have been home, I don't even know what time it is, I've been home a lot longer than I realised and I should have done this a long time ago but it's getting done so part two's been done so there will be a part two definitely so at Asda I spent 57.40 I got 50p off and it came to 56.80 there's £18.50 worth of things not here so it was actually relatively cheap in Asda now I did buy an energy drink because I've barely slept all week and I'd not had a drink at all this morning I took some water with me my water bottle leaked and there's literally about six mouthfuls left in it and it holds a litre or just under a litre so I needed an energy drink I've got the peach monster because it was advertised as 120 it stands as 190 for some reason it says voided and it's like I got the 190 back yet I still got the can of energy drink which got drank when I left the shop because it weren't super cold so basically got a free monster in Tesco I spent 91.84 and after the club card discount it came to £72.65 so the shopping really wasn't too expensive there's probably things I forgot I am very stressed out but I will show you the chilled stuff so I, we are starting with Tesco I've just realised there's something in the Tesco section that I got from Asda but I'll point it out when I get to it so I got the squashes from Tesco's I didn't even think about them in Asda but I got them in Asda last week I have been eating them. Feminax, they do work. I had one of these before the dog walked because I was hungry. Anything that I've had from St. Mike anything that I've had from St. Michael. Everything I've had from this brand St. Michael had been really good. Um and they're individually wrapped, which I like, and it was good. I think I've had these before. I did get the three for three pound i do prefer the one that is like the low fat one or whatever it is where it's blue at the top instead of brown but it wasn't in the three for three pound i had that before the dog walk so it's definitely needed i got some tesco anti-back bathroom this is basically to put replace the audi one what was in the main bathroom which i used to clean the bath before i bathed the dog yesterday i mean you wouldn't think she's been bathed because she's been in a lot of water today stinky dirty water but when it's hot, I can't stop her from doing it because I feel it would be cruel. So that bath might have been pointless, but because she's a husky, she's not allowed a lot of baths, so whatever. Um, but I basically used it all up to clean it before the dog had a bath. I mean, I don't know why I cleaned it before. So now I need to clean the bath and I had run out. So I just picked this up. I may have had this before, I may not. I do get the cheaper ones for the main bathroom because that's not the bathroom I predominantly use. Like I rarely ever have a bath. Um, I don't really get the chance to do so. So I just grabbed that. I got the short non-stop protection 72 hour deodorant. I don't know why it's going blurry, but this was on offer for about 240. I think it's meant to be 360. I'm currently just run out of these because I had a small one. Um, I've used Mixion, but Mixion's actually a mix of antiperspirant and deodorant. If you don't want to smell, you meant to use antiperspirant because deodorant's kind of a scent, but antiperspirant is what's got the active ingredients in. So the mixture is a mixture of both. This is just antiperspirant. Obviously, it's scented. And the other one that I use, the Dove one, the passion fruit and whatever the other thing it is, um, that's an antiperspirant. That's what I'm currently using. Although I still have some mixture left, but my shawl has run out and that's the best out of them all. I got the I got the LV Hydro Hyaluronic Moisture Boosting Shampoo. If you watch my videos, you'll know I got the conditioner seven, like maybe three weeks ago. It is really good. Now I use Keristas Anti Fall Shampoo. I do have a what's it called the brand? I 
I'm not going to try and remember because I probably won't. Pure Allergy. Now I said I wouldn't remember. I did. It's Pure Allergy. It's the purple one. I have that as well, but I predominantly use the Anti Hair Fall one by LV. Um, sometimes if I do have a cheaper shampoo, I'll use it as the first cleanse. And that's what I've got this for. But also, I'm going to try it because I do double cleanse. I'm going to use it as a double cleanse by itself to see if it's any good. I did get this on offer. It was like... 240 something like that um so i'm gonna give it a go because the condition is really nice mini rolls it's just the five pack which is on offer i got two packs of the dental life dental sticks i don't know i think there's five in the pack here i got medium which is actually her size because she's 22 kilograms and i got the large they were on offer for a pound each instead of 160 the dental sticks that i typically get the dog was not in stock last week they were reduced to clear i'm hoping they're bringing them back i'm guessing they might be rebranding i don't know because they are a favorite i feel like she's had these before she has had the pedigree ones because obviously they're the ones that you would go for she went off them then i was getting as the ones for a long time which she really liked then she started to dislike them so then i've been getting the, the baker's ones um i don't know if they do them in asda i'll have to have a look I don't think they do because I have tried different dental chews with her, but I know she's had these. I just don't she likes them because I, I'm, I might have to try another shot to try and get the ones that she's been having. I've had one of these. I mean, I won't be having the other one because I always share, but they are Scandi style cinnamon buns. It was really nice. I feel like it was slightly overcooked. I don't know if it was meant to be slightly overcooked. I don't know if that's like how it's meant to be. In the middle, it's basically the similar, the middle is the similar like filling as like any cinnamon swirl slash buns. It was nice. I would have it again and I love anything cinnamon. So I wanted to get something different today. I also got the old butter almond croissants. They have reduced the price to 160. Is that butter? I don't know what that is because um, I didn't buy butter. They were 180. They came in a um paper bag which i prefer because it's more environmental friendly but that's what they were in i actually forgot to get them in asda which i've been getting them in because they're 150 but i do feel like the tesco ones were better but i've not had them enough to 100 percent confirm that i got a mug shot in the sweet and sour the crisps are actually from asda asda crisps are normally like around 20p more than tesco full price these were on offer for 150 i spotted them because I wasn't even on that aisle, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get them. So, they're cheaper than when they run off in Tesco. The bread that we've been loving. Now I'm on to Tes Asda. So, these are from the World Food section. And by the way, I was behind when I got to the shops, because I had a phone call. I set off slightly late. I actually put the oil in my car today. So, when I was leaving today, because I drop off, who has to park outside the house to enable me to park? I put the oil in my car so i was behind and then i had to go and get my prescription which was a nightmare and then when i got to the shop i had a phone call so i was behind time and i was rushing so i didn't get spend time in the world food section and you're going to find out in a minute that i have made a rookie error um but i got these they're a 90p there was two different flavors i've never seen these before because it was like I had the nuts in and I know I typically like a nut e filling. I got them. They are kind of dry. I had to open them to take a tablet because I, I, I did pick up my prescription, which I've not had any of at that point. Um, but I think I'm going to like them. Three for three pound on the dog treats. By the way, I'm so hot. I'm struggling to get a full breath. I know it's a combination of like anxiety, but also like, I'm just really struggling. Does anyone else struggle talking? Um, these are 130 by themselves and they're 110 by themselves. So I've got two packs of them and one of them. So I saved 50p. I picked up the Sensations Mature Cheddar and Chili Chutney. I got them in Tesco. So I've got the crystal on. Did I get them in Tesco? I think I got them in Tesco. Yeah, I did. So I basically put the crisps the wrong way around. 
I just got a different flavour. Um, it's still cheese, but it's got chilli chutney in. I'm really struggling with breathing. I feel really ridiculous because, like, I just feel, I don't feel very well. That's weird. Um, this cafe caramel latte, they're on offer for 165. I've picked two of these up. I had one last week. It's spicier than I realised it was going to be. And, and um, I thought it was the honey and soy. It was in the honey and soy section. So there's two packet, like two boxes next to each other. Do you know the open fronted one so you can grab them? It's on the top shelf. And on one side was these, on the other side there was two of these sachets in what should have been the soy and honey. I was like, oh my god, I've got two. I've been trying to get them for the last few weeks. Picked them up, got them on. I've picked up this flavour again. So I think someone's put them in the wrong box. Twelves, which are like 175 now. Rice, because I ran out of rice. Bananas. Or limes. Water biscuits. Coconut milk powder, Nurofen, um, two Pepsi Maxes, which is from, what's it called? Test Go. They're 179 each because the price matched to Aldi, but it's two for three pounds. From Asda, I got sparkling apple and mango. I got six of them. I had to get, like, squat right down, bend right down, because they were right at the back. There weren't many left. They have got three, like, rows of them now because it is the most popular flavour, but I was struggling to reach them because we're right at the back, but I still managed to pick up six. This is from Tesco. I should have picked two up because I've literally got maybe that much left. Um, Tesco again. Asda. I got the, is it 24? 24 bottles of the Ice Valley water. I also got, a pack of six toilet rolls coconut oil and also from tesco i got two eight packs of pepsi max cans because i think the 289 2.98 each two nine no i think the 2.99 or 2.98 each and they had an offer on today where you could get two for six pound fifty so i picked up two packs um obviously they're not for me they're for the office um still not for me but yeah, they're not here. I forgot to mention that they're not here and they're still in the total of the Tesco shopping because I did forget about them until I was doing that. But I believe that's everything that I've got that is chilled and not in the fridge slash freezer. If you have any questions about any of these items, please feel free to leave them down below. If you're new to my channel or you watch my videos but you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to press the notification button to get an alert when I upload next. I hope you all have the most amazing week and thank you so much for watching.